Tragic Loss, Extreme Eater, Pan, not even gonna try, 24, dies during live stream of a 10-hour mukbang, food, food binge after her stomach ripped open. I don't know if they know what the word tragic means, but it almost kind of seems like, you know what, dude, you, 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 you fuck around, you find out. I don't know, what do you want from me, dude? Like, I'm sorry that this woman did a 10-hour binge session on a mukbang. And her stomach exploded, dude. What do you want from me? I didn't even know they had enough food in China to even do a, a 10-hour mukbang, dude. What was she eating? How did she even get that much food, bro? Uh, people have told me the other night on stream that there was a woman in China that died. Just literally keeled over, I guess. I don't know exact. I couldn't find the video. Not that I could probably show it on you know, video or whatever. But, yeah, dude, this this happened. Um, but this is a video. Um, we're gonna <laughs> We're going to watch this video real quick of this beautiful woman. And uh, I want you guys to tell me, she kind of looks like, she kind of looks like how I would imagine somebody that's Chinese would look if you just piled, she was 600 pounds apparently, like 625, something around that. So I guess it makes sense that she would look like this, but anyway, so let's, let's see what she, like the cringe, like the cringe of her, like taking that bite and just going like, oh, and to be honest, she probably has a couple filters applied, dude, if I'm being honest. Like, I've seen multiple times of very, very... People in China, like, straight up men. Like, literal, full force, big meated genitalia men using, like, these face filters that completely turn them into women. And, uh, which is really crazy. I, it's really uh, an anomaly that we live in a time frame nowadays where people can literally just put on a filter and change genders off of the filter. It's actually incredible. I, I remember a few years ago, people were doing like five hour makeup sessions to try to slim down jaws. They were taping their cheeks together, trying to get a little bit of the appeal of being a woman. But it seems like nowadays you don't even need to do that. But I mean, it's really impractical, obviously, because if you ever go outside, people are gonna go, oh, that's a man. But you're, you know, not a man online, I guess. But then again, I guess it really doesn't really matter because it's not like anybody will ever notice you in real life. It's not like they're going to go, hey, aren't you that one girl that did that 10-hour mukbang sessions? Nobody's going to know that because you're literally a completely different person when you walk outside. So I guess it really doesn't matter. But beautiful young lady, she did pass away. It's really sad. I know there's a lot of people in the community. We're going to go through this a little bit more. I know there are a lot of people in this community and communities in general saying that mukbangs need to be banned off of particular social media platforms, including this one that you're viewing me on currently. And my opinion on it is no, I think that's probably not good at all, dude. I mean, I don't even know how you would even, I don't know how you would determine how much somebody could eat or how much somebody might be allowed to eat and granted 10 hours is extreme 10 hours is very very extreme but if i went on a 10 hour mukbang session of just eating grapes i don't think anybody would complain about that i don't think anybody would say anything bad about that so it just depends and um to be honest i don't think it's ever a good idea to just outright ban stuff for no other reason than you think it's dangerous you know smoking is smoking is very dangerous people eat it i mean sorry people smoke it smoke cigarettes um, fast food also is very dangerous, at least in the long term of what you're doing to yourself. Uh, but people still do it. A lot of people will trade short term benefit for long term defects. And there's nothing wrong with that. We all do it to one degree or another. And it's okay for people to do that. I'm never going to be against somebody deciding what they want to do, obviously within limitations. I think there should be rules and regulations on almost everything, of course. But when it comes to stuff like this, it's, you know, what do you want from me, dude? Like, what am I supposed to say about this? It's bad. It sucks that she did it to herself, but it ultimately is her decision to eat enough food to literally destroy your stomach. It like rips open and destroys you from the inside out. I can't tell this person not to do that. They have their own free will. I don't even know how it got to that degree. You would think that after like the first five or six hours, you'd go, I kind of feel a little different. Like, I know I've been, she apparently had been doing this for a very long time. I don't know what streaming platform she was on. Over there in China, they have different streaming platforms and they have different platforms in general because they don't want the influence of westernized influences over there in their country in China and stuff like that. They don't want to see how good we got it. You know what I'm talking about here in America? What do we got? Water parks and I don't know, Matthew McConaughey. I don't like, what do you want? I don't know, dude. It's great. It's awesome. Come over to America. It's awesome. But that's, you know, they usually have their own social media platforms that are heavily monitored by the CCP. 
and uh so they you know there's a very slim possibility that we're gonna ever see that video and they really really do monitor those videos they'll take them down instantly right after you see them and shit like that but anyway we're gonna <laughs> i just sorry the picture is just insane bro okay anyway <sighs> an extreme eater passed away after her stomach tore while live streaming a 10 hour long food binge. And it's like, again, I don't even, do we, is this really tragic? Is this really like somebody's going like, man, I can't believe this happened. Like, this is really a tragedy. When somebody says a tragedy, I'm thinking like, I don't know, dude, like an orphanage explodes or fucking, you know, like a building collapses off of itself or, you know, like the structural integrity, nobody knew about it. That's a tragedy. Not just a woman that was eating for 10 hours and died because she ate too much. I don't know if you can classify that as a tragedy. I don't know who's going to be missing this woman after that, but whatever. Uh, anyway, so her name is Pan. I'm not even going to try. I don't, what do you want? Axolotl. I don't know, dude. From China. Was known for broadcasting marathons of eating challenges, often eating for hours at a time. See, I, I could never, I, I, I could never, ever, ever be in a situation where I'd be able to eat for hours at a time. I will give her credit for the fact that she was able to eat for hours at a time and she was doing it consistently as well but hey bro fuck around and find out i guess dude anything is too much when you go too far and this is really where i have a problem with people having this issue of like we should get rid of mukbangs dude okay listen pornography is not bad it's only bad when you do it too much okay everything is going to have these limits in life and it's the same thing with drugs it's the same thing with smoking it's the same thing with alcohol it's the same thing with literally everything in life uh, as soon as it starts getting a problem, as soon as it as you start doing it too much and it starts consuming you, then it's an issue. Um, it's okay to do mukbangs as long as you're not eating so much that your stomach explodes. And I know that a lot of people are going, David, you know, come on now. Who's having this problem? Literally no one. Literally no one. This is a very, very crazy example. It's like those people that go, we should outlaw marijuana because one guy died from it 14 years ago and that's a problem. Let's outlaw marijuana. What are you talking about, dude? Stop. Stop it, dude. Come on. This is a con. One person dies from this shit, and suddenly we're all up in arms about it. Come on, dude. It is what it is. I don't like watching people mukbang, and I know a lot of people don't. Uh, I, but it is what it is. I think people should have the ability to do it. And you know what? It's actually illegal in China. It's not. It's not something you can do in China. But she had some workarounds, I guess, dude. Or maybe she was paying off the CCP. I've heard actual plenty of stories of people being able to do that, and getting you know exemptions from the law. Or whatever if they're bringing in a lot of money and the government officials they run deep dude there's a lot of corruption in that country i'm not to say there's a lot of country not a corruption in our country in america but it's a little bit more uh visual in china anyway this is her i guess this is her i don't know what the fuck this is right here probably like the brain of a a sea turtle or something like that i wouldn't even be surprised dude people in china eat some weird shit i don't know dude like here in america i guess they would consider that what we eat is really weird shit but our weird shit is like five times bigger like that's usually why they would consider us weird like oh my god you ate a cheeseburger with like bacon and anchovies and it had a pizza on it and you're like yeah <laughs> woo america first right dude that's like us i don't know but like over there in china they're eating like i don't know like uh like the spines of iguanas and shit i don't know whatever dude dies at scoffing 22 pounds 22 pounds is actually kind of crazy bro i don't know how she managed to eat 22 pounds of food in a, in a sitting i guess she had experience this can't be just something that you just do on a daily basis right there's no way i don't even know part of me wishes or not wishes but i was assuming that she was purging it but given the fact that she was maintaining 600 pounds consistently gives me the impression that she was not she was actually eating this and you know what, dude? I'm gonna I'm, uh, listen, bro. If you're devoted to your craft, there's plenty of people in our society that do tons and tons of stuff that are obviously not good for them. I'll give you some examples. Some people will play sports, and those sports will be very, very damaging to their body. But they're getting short-term gain, so they maybe they perform for 10 years, and maybe when they're 55, they get CTE and they get, you know they can't stop shaking or they can't form sentences anymore. But guess what? When they were 20 and they signed that contract for $40 million for a year, that sounded real good for them. And it might have been beneficial for them at the moment. Maybe they regretted it later on, but that's the choices that they made. A lot of people make these choices. Ronnie Coleman, for instance, one of my favorite bodybuilders, if not my favorite bodybuilder, let me be honest here for a second. Jay Cutler is my favorite IFBB pro. But 
uh if you know ronnie coleman being a really good example here worked out very very extremely you know deadlifting bench pressing high high weights and later on in his life now that he's in his 60s has a lot of problems can, can't even walk has hip hip replacements had to do infusions of his spine slipped like five discs in his life doing all these extreme workouts and things like that but guess what if you ask that man today would you do it all over again he says yes 100 percent. i would do it all over again because guess what it's his decision should we be punishing people for making these decisions um for 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 their benefits like they're the ones doing it you know they want to do this stuff a lot of them do know the risks um, most of these ifbb pros will tell you straight out yes i know this is damaging i know i'm taking enough drugs to kill a normal person but i got the genetics to support it and i'm gonna do it so they do it i don't think it's a bad thing um if these guys want to do that shit and it's it's completely legal and it's within the the framework of their life and they know that they have benefits uh benefits to this and they know that it's going to be consequential it is what it is. Even if you don't know the consequences of it, it is what it is, dude. People are going to do this shit, okay? But very few, very few people don't know the consequences of it. Anyway, um, this is her, obviously, as you see, sucking down a cheesecake. Uh, again, I didn't even know they had cake in China, dude. I have literally saw videos. Okay, look, let me stop. I know they have food in China. I know in particular areas of China, you're more likely to be able to get more food compared to other places in China. But China is going through a big problem right now. So, you know, it is what it is on that shit. She collapsed suddenly as she live streamed herself binge eating. I, I really wonder, I don't want to make jokes about this, dude. I don't because it's really sad. Um, but I wonder, you guys ever play like Skyrim or maybe like you guys have ever played Oblivion, right? Those old Bethesda games. Not even old, I guess. Oh, I guess really old actually. 2011 and what? 2008, I guess, or 2006. I don't know. But you know when you like slip somebody some poison or like you give somebody like a poison apple and they eat their food and they're just like they're just sitting down at the table and they're just like this and they eat the poison and they go bah, bah, bah. that's what i imagine what happened here like <laughs> just like every time she took a bite it just like all above her head critical 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 uh yeah but anyway <laughs> i'm sorry dude maybe that was morbid dude i don't know what to fucking tell you guys okay stop um pan was known for extreme fasting feasting challenges it should have been better if it was fasting actually look at she's literally drinking a coca-cola out of a boot bro that's some badlands chugs badlands chug shit right there bro god damn she got the whole boot that's crazy she got a fucking boot and she's practicing good hygiene dude she's got the glove on she got the rubber glove man that's uh, you know I'll give her that i'll give her that one i'll give her that one uh, local media in China reported on July 14th that she had died suddenly during a live stream. She passed away last week from suspected stomach tear while devouring 10 kilograms of food, which is roughly around 22 pounds, by the way, which is insane. We got to give her that. 22 pounds is insane, dude. I mean, it's not good, obviously, but hey, she did it. Which included chocolate, chicken fingers, and seafood. What a... Wow. That is a crazy amount of food to be eating dude chocolate chicken fingers and seafood dude i mean i don't even know how you have that much food 22 pounds of food is insane i feel like a lot of people just don't understand how much that is that's a lot of food bro according to the postmortem ex examination her abdomen was visibly deformed and her stomach was full of undigested food I mean, yeah, 10 hours, bro. She was going for 10 hours, dude. I mean, we literally seen stories of dudes like dying from like I don't know what it is in like these Asian countries. Of I just see videos sometimes and like reports of guys going like, "Oh, in t in today's news, a man in a man in Japan died from a 14-hour game session." And you're just like, "What, dude? Like what was he playing, dude?" And it's like, "Yeah, League of Legends for like f fucking 14, 18 hours, dude. What are you talking about?" And like no water, literally no sleep, no food, just sitting there for 18 hours playing video games. And I'm just thinking, "What a beautiful life, right, dude?" It's not as bad as that one guy over there in Russia that literally beat his meat 55 times and died. I mean, that's a crazy thing to happen. I don't know which one's worse. I'll let you guys know. I'll let you guys determine that in the comment section. It's probably better, actually, if I'm thinking about it, to beat your meat. Because if you beat your meat that many times, he broke a world record. Let's be honest here for a second. If you die while playing a video game, everybody's looking at that like, cringe, dude, that's really cringe. But if you're beating your meat to death, I mean, it's not good. But it's also kind of like a, you know, I don't know, dude. I feel like, I feel like he should have, like, women coming up over his house in memorial to him praising his name and what he was able to do a lot of people don't notice if you're a dude after about the third or fourth time it's just air that comes out it's just 
every single time past that. So I have no idea how he managed to get up to past 10. I think my record is maybe four, and that's in a day. So, like, I don't know how he managed to get up to 55. That's actually insane. But anyway, dude. Um, the, this indicated that her stomach could have burst, causing her stomach acid and food to leak into her abdomen. Daily Mail reported, Pan became famous for, ch it, it, famous is China, Pan became famous is China, I think that's a mistype, so it should be in China, for live streaming her mukbangs, a viral internet craze, and sees people feast on large amounts of food on camera. About four years ago, I think like four or five years ago, uh, no, actually, I would say around 2016, mukbangs were pretty big, but then they died out about two years later. So 2018 is when they really died out. Like, I remember literally going on YouTube, and there would be Trisha Paytas. There would be these big, you know, Nico Avocado. These people would be sitting there eating crazy amounts of food, and they stopped. I don't know. Like, Nico Avocado died down. I don't think, I mean, Trisha Paytas still eats a lot, but it doesn't seem like she really does it to the same degree that she used to. Um, but it died down. And even people like, for instance, um, Hungry Fat Chick were doing that as well. And she still is doing that. And maybe we'll watch a video of that later on to talk about some mukbanging and why I don't like it personally. And there's a lot of people on TikTok as well. And this, there's been a recent resurgence in the last, I would go as far as to say two years, two or three years, maybe since COVID. I don't know. Like people have been locking themselves indoors and they need a reason to gain weight, I guess, or at least explain why they were able to gain 20, 30 fucking pounds in two months. So they go, I was mukbanging, dude. You know, it is what it is. So a lot of people on TikTok now, there are a ton, a ton. If you go on TikTok and look up mukbangs, you're going to see a lot, mostly women. I mean, I'm sure that there are plenty of dudes mukbanging, but there's kind of an appeal to watching a woman eat a lot of food just because she's a woman and she has the option of having a vagina. I feel like a lot of people are sleeping on that as a good passive ability. And for some reason, some dudes just can't do the same thing. And it's kind of a little bit fucked up that some guys can't mukbang and get the same reception as women mukbanging because women have vaginas. And that's obviously not the same. Like it's not always going to be the reason that people watch it. But I think there's a pretty good reason for it. A lot of people are watching women wa do this stuff because a lot of dudes are down bad. And a lot of dudes have a chronic porn addiction and they will literally beat off to literally anything. And everybody starts off the same way. You start watching porn really, really young, most likely because you're a fucking millennial or you're born Gen Z or whatever. And nobody really knows, like your parents have no idea what the internet is, right? Like if you're growing up in these generations, most people don't even know what the internet is. So of course you start experimenting. You maybe start watching pornography young and then everybody watches the same type of pornography, which is just basic bitch shit, you know, dude on girl. And then eventually you go, this ain't enough. I need some BBC. I need some, I need some women farting on cakes. I need some crazy shit. And then you go from one end to the next and you try to investigate what you're watching. Maybe you watch glory holes. Maybe you're watching a whole bunch of stuff, anal beads. And at the end of it, you go, I really love watching women eat crazy amounts of food. And you know what's great about that is you don't even need to go on porn sites for that. You could literally just go on TikTok right now and find copious amounts of overweight women eating thousands of calories in a day and it's good in their mouth. They love it. And it's really sad to say, but it's mostly men, mostly men that are watching this and it's mostly women that are doing it. And not to say there aren't men. There are probably multiple men that are mukbanging, I'm sure, but it seems to be predominantly women that are the ones that are doing it and men in the comment section you'll find a few women going this is like feeder content and this and that and most of the girls are like huh, i know i know i'm doing feeder content like what do you expect dude? i'm getting bank i'm literally making like thousands of dollars from ben men beating off to me am i deducting my life yeah but so what and it's the same thing here like what do you want from me people do shit for short-term game dude uh it is what it is right anyway um, again, it is, it is illegal in China. You can't mukbang in China. So I don't know how the fuck she became famous because China will literally knock on your door and be like, Hey dude, we're going to have to take you to the fucking gulag dude for you doing your mukbang. So I don't know how she managed to get by, but anyway, for live streaming or vi vi viral internet craze, these people feast on large amounts of food on camera. The trend originated in South Korea and mukbang comes from the Korean word for eat and broadcast. But it's made way, it's made its way over to the UK and the US with YouTubers like Nico, Nicholas Perry, also known as Nico Avocado, and Trisha Paytas making their own mukbang content. 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, that's pretty true. The craze has also popped up on TikTok with users filming themselves gorging on decadent takeaways. Yes, it's that's very common in the UK. Very, very common, matter of fact. One of the most common things you can find on TikTok, especially the last like year, it's like blown up like crazy. Um, I don't personally understand it. I don't really understand how so many people can be eating crazy amounts of calories the way that they do. Uh, for me personally, I've always had a hard time actually eating a lot of calories, so... I don't understand how some of these people can because a lot of them are just forcing themselves to do it. Like I've seen literal women that were in shape that were literally beautiful, beautiful physique women that have thrown away their physique, thrown away their health for short term gain. And you know what? I don't know how long the craze for mukbanging is. Usually these things only last about a year at most or maybe two and then it's over and it's not sustainable obviously so i guess if you're okay with literally deducting like a decade off your life to fulfill the desires of men on the internet and also fulfilling the desire of your mouth and also probably big picking up bad eating eating habits because like let's be honest here for a second if you're eating like this for two three years at a time dude that shit adds up and you probably developed a lot of bad behaviors uh, I know a lot of people will probably go to Nico Avocado. People got to understand, Nico Avocado is a character. Like, that is not actually him. He's doing that as a, like, you know, this is his alter ego. Like, this is not actually him. So, um, yes, he did that. And I'm pretty sure he came out and he said that the reason why he did it was because it was popular and it got him a lot of views. And he was okay with de <laughs> literally deducting years of his life for this money. And, hey, dude, if that's what he wanted to do and, uh, you know, people were okay with it, it is what it is, dude. What do you want from me? I can't control these people. Um, but anyway, let's look into some mukbangers, some prolific mukbangers. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll do it. Mmm. 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 Like one of my main problems with mukbangs is like, what else is it? What is what else is going on here, dude? Like, are you people really just going to watch people eat high denominations of calories? I never understood that, dude. Like, it'd be one thing if these people were talking about something of substance, or maybe they were talking about the food. Maybe they were talking about how delicious the food was. Maybe they were talking about the consistency of it. Maybe they were talking about where they got it. Maybe they're talking about anything, literally anything at all. But most of this stuff is literally just mouth noises, slurping, or breathing in air at an inconsistent rate because you're literally on the brink of death. So, when you see people doing mukbangs like this, I mean, look at look at the size of some of these people, right? Nico Avocado, way back in the day, used to be way thinner than he is here. But it seems like, I mean, obviously, over the few years, I think he got up to, what, 400, 500 pounds or something like that? He doesn't look like it. But you got to understand, Nico Avocado is a tall guy. He's a lot of space to fill up. But somebody like Hungry Fat Chick, which is a crazy-ass name, by the way. She has been maintaining close to 600 pounds for her entire life, and it's crazy as fuck to say that because it looked like for a while she was trying to lose some weight, but she just gave up on it because I guess she wasn't getting the viewers, and then also it was very difficult to maintain a particular type of diet that would induce weight loss, and that wasn't sustainable for her because guess what? When you've been eating like this for your entire life, and then you try to go from zero to 100, these people are literally, it's never going to happen. So, you know, I would prefer if some of these people, if they were doing these mukbang contents, I would hope that there would be something else going on because there's never anything else. It's just these people eating copious amounts of food and breathing really, really hard. And I just don't understand the appeal of it. And you know what else I always find too is like these people go above and beyond when it comes to them eating high quality, high quantities of food. Like you can't start off eating one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight plates of my bad, 10 plates because they have one in each of their hands, right? 10 plates in total here. Uh, of of ramen noodles, dude. Like this is end game. This is end game stuff right here, dude. You should be probably starting off with maybe two or three bowls. The fact that you went to ten is insane. But these people have been doing mukbangs for literally years. So, I mean, it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think down below about it. I think I need the fork. Yeah, I'm 100 always gonna go for the fork, dude. I get it. Like you have chopsticks and you want to be cultural or whatever, dude. Um, but you're not gonna catch me doing that, dude. Okay, I'm an American, and forks are the best utensil. I don't care what anybody says. There might be like some better utensils on the planet, depending on the environment that you're in. Like if you're eating some ice cream or you're some cereal, obviously a spoon would do the trick. But for most food, I'm gonna go with a fork. And two sticks is, listen, two versus one. 
and I'm getting the same amount of food, so don't worry about it. If I'm gonna do this correctly. Oh. This is a before and after, by the way. So, like, you know, Hungry Fat Chick and Nico Avocado, then versus now. So, they have been, I didn't even realize this, but uh, they have been eating like this for literally years at this point. Four, five, six years like this. And obviously, you eating like this for a prolonged period of time means you're just going to gain weight. But oddly enough, Foodie, uh, Hungry Fat Chick has not gained any weight because she's just maintaining so. Okay, we get it, bro. Come on. Ooh. It's got peas and all kinds of good stuff in yeah, there. Yeah, there's meat. It almost reminds me of a lasagna mm -hmm. with like a breading. Yeah, as you know, like you could notice here, like Nico Avocado is way more like chill. He's a lot more chill because he's he's dialing in a particular character. And to a, to a certain degree, I believe everybody has a particular character that they, they, they base themselves off based off of the scenario that you, you're in and stuff like that. But... Um, everybody on the internet, for the most part, has a personality that they put on display, with the exception of me, because I'm always authentic, and I'm cool, and, uh, hashtag, I am me, and she is me as well. I am her. Oh, yeah. Mm. No, this is... It's very cheesy. Some old-school mm -hmm. mukbangs. <laughs> I'm so excited. That cheese, that pizza does not even look good, dude. If it's, like, if the cheese is just one consistent palette of cheese... I'm not, I'm not really fucking with it. I just don't like it, dude. I, I would prefer if the cheese looked more like cheese instead of just a layer of plastic that somebody just dumped on top of it. It looks like a Crayola crayon. You just, like, coated it with yellow and then just started, just microwaved it. It's always crazy to see the double chin starting to grow on Nico Avocado, right? He used to have a nice jawline. He used to have a nice jawline. He used to actually care about himself. And now it's just like, damn, bro. The same thing for Hungry Fat Chick. But I don't know what she used to look like back when she was in her 20s because I believe I only started watching her when she was in her 50s or maybe even, yeah, when she's in her 50s. And I believe she's probably like maybe late 40s here. So, I mean, it's insane, but it is what it is, dude. These people are literally the personification of poor eating habits and also consistency. I'll give them that. They have been maintaining this for literal years at this point. Oh my gosh. Let go, little pizza. Mm. From bad to worst. Ooh. Mm. 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 Like, what are we watching, dude? Like, how did Steaming, it get this hot, bad? Steaming, mm. so cheesy and buttery. That was just a big bite of cheese. Mm. There's a market for it. What do you want from me, guys? Okay, like, I don't personally like watching this stuff. I get zero satisfaction from this. I, I'm not getting bricked up in any way, but a lot of people will. You know, the size of that pizza and the, the fact that these two individuals are chronically overweight or obese, it just kind of adds to the flavor of it almost, actually. But uh, it's, it's really sad. But I would never tell these people that they can't do this stuff. It's just sad, but it is what it is. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. So if you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate it for everybody to leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I would appreciate tremendously. If you watch the video in its entirety, leave it down below by typing in mukbang because, you know, that's the entire nature of this video, I suppose, dude. I mean, you would never catch me doing a mukbang. I mean, uh, I mean, let's not say that. I might do a mukbang every once in a while, but for me personally, it would be non-entertaining because the mukbang that I would do would probably just be like really, really healthy foods because I struggle to eat things in general, so... There's that, but let me thank everybody that's a subscriber already, everybody that's a member of the channel. You guys are all amazing, beautiful, spectacular people, and I truly, truly appreciate you. You guys are my mukbang. You guys are the mukbang for my soul. Like when I see you guys, I'm feeding off the love, the amazingness, and I wanna give that back. I wanna give all my love, all the caring, all the beautiful feelings I have for you guys. I wanna throw it upon your back. I want you to feel me all over you because I love you guys. I love every single one of you guys. You are all amazing. Even if, you, even if you don't like me, I love you. And I love you so incredibly chronically that it might actually be a little bit unhealthy for me. But it's okay because my feelings could never be unhealthy. They could never be unjustified. You're just too much of an amazing person for me to not realize. But anyway, guys, if you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.